everyone. This is Lauren from the LKS Address. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is the eighth and final video in our family room renovation series. We've been renovating our family room for about six months now and we're ready to put the finishing touches on the room so that we can reveal it to all of you. But before we do that, let's quickly go through all of the DIYs we completed to get to this point. Welcome to our completed family room renovation. We thought it would only be appropriate to go through some of the main elements of the space and talk through a couple quick things. But as always, remember, we'll have a link in the description with all of the sources for the room in case you're interested in learning more about a specific thing. It only makes sense to start with the fireplace, the centerpiece of our room. This is the first project we completed in the family room. We built out a new wall in front of our existing brick fireplace. We knew we wanted to do a marble or a stone fireplace from day one. We went with a Grigio Michelangelo Dolomite. This is in a leathered finish and in person it feels amazing. We sourced this from a local stone yard in the Chicago area. If you're in Chicago, it is Calia Stone. They have amazing options and we're definitely going to continue to use them in the future for other projects around the house. And then we wanted to bring in a traditional element to the fireplace. So we opted for a built up wood mantle. We got this mantle set from Kukin Brothers. They have pre-designed mantles that have a series of built up pieces and profiles designed for a mantle. This turned out lovely. We love the kind of juxtaposition between more of a modern stone and a traditional mantle. Above the mantle, we have a 65 inch frame TV with a deco frame. Absolutely love the deco frames, really makes it look more like a painting. This is the Prismatic in gold. Also finished it off with a Samsung Ultra Slim soundbar. And that's about it for the fireplace. Really happy with how it turned out and it definitely serves as the focal point for the room. So let's move on to the next thing. The next big project we tackled in our family room was our bay window. Our existing bay window was dated and builder grade and we wanted to case it out in more of a formal way, similar to what you would see in a traditional Victorian or a colonial style home. So we added new window trim and we did some wainscoting on the bottom, again, utilizing a Kukin Brothers trim so that it coordinates directly with the fireplace. We painted this all in classic gray by Benjamin Moore in a satin finish. And we also refinished the windows, staining them black. Really also love how this turned out. It brings more traditional elements to the room and again, adds a formality that's very nice that wasn't there before. And then we also trimmed out the bay window with custom curtains from Two Pages Curtains. These are a plinch pleat curtain in the color off-white in the Is Isabella line. I think that really finishes off the bay window and frames it nicely. We weren't able to add curtains inside the bay window, so we opted to frame it to, again, add a sense of formality to it. Finish it off with some furniture. Cam and I love to sit in the chair in the bay window and enjoy our morning coffee or just enjoy the view into our backyard. One of the next major elements of the space was a first for us, building walnut cabinets from scratch. Our fireplace is very wide proportionately, so we knew that we did not want to add built-ins to our family room. Instead, we opted for some freestanding furniture that felt a little lighter to contrast the proportions and the heaviness of our fireplace. We, like I said, we built these from scratch using pocket holes and only six tools. We've got a whole video on that. They are walnut inside and out, and they add a nice warmth to the space. 
What I really like about the walnut is it's a repeating element from our kitchen. We have walnut at our coffee bar and we have walnut accents in our kitchen and these rooms open up into each other so they coordinate really nicely. We also did the top walnut. Our inspiration cabinets had stone, but we did not want to compete with the fireplace and let these be their own element. Really happy with how these turned out as well, and they provide extra storage and also house all of our electronics and cords and everything. So really helps tuck things away that you functionally need in a family room with a TV and a sound system. Above the walnut cabinets, you might have noticed that we have incorporated box trim and antique mirrors. We knew we wanted, again, to try and break up the proportions of this wall because the fireplace is so dominant. So we opted to use box trim and br again, break the scale down. And we knew we wanted to incorporate mirrors. We opted for antique mirrors to add more of an aged look. And we just simply glued these onto the wall and trimmed them out in the box trim. And it looks so nice. And then. The other wall behind me was the largest and most blank wall of the room. So we continued the box trim onto it to act as somewhat a feature wall, but not again, compete with the fireplace. This is also painted in classic gray by Benjamin Moore. The wall paint is in eggshell and then as same as the bay window, the box trim is in the sheen satin. This really added a new, another element that adds more of a traditional vibe to the family room and made this wall still seem very intentional, but also, again, not competing with any of the major elements in the room. And speaking of blank walls or blank spaces in the room, this is a project that's going to come in a video after the reveal, but we DIY'd plant stands to kind of fill up this corner. It was feeling very empty, and it was another way to incorporate the stone from the fireplace using leftover stone from our slab. So this ties in nicely with the fireplace. It adds some green elements to the room, which really warm it up. And we finished off the blank wall with our best Facebook marketplace find yet, this antique painting with a picture light, and again, adds a really nice authentic vintage touch to the room and i just think it finishes the room off beautifully the green painting also ties in wonderfully with all the greenery and the green couch that we are going to talk about now and speaking of green couches we were fortunate enough to partner with room and board for the major pieces of furniture throughout the room i am sitting on a fiat sofa in the Vance Olive Velvet. We opted for very neutral touches across this room because we knew we wanted to go with a punch of color on the couch and we just love the green. It's a really daring for us because Cam and I really lean towards, again, neutrals. We're trying to add a little bit more warmth into our house, but maintaining our personal style. And this punch of color really just completes the room. We also have a coffee table. This is the Parsons coffee table in natural steel. And we did a, a marble top, which coordinates nicely with the fireplace. And then we have two side tables, which are the Slim C profile side tables, very minimal, keep it very light. They are background characters to the rest of the room and I love how they fit in nicely. Every time we finish up a big project, Cam and I like to reflect on how it went and after six months, you can imagine that we have a lot of strong opinions about our highs and lows, which are our favorite way to reflect. So Cam, what is your high for this project? I would have to say the fireplace taking on something like that that is super intimidating. We've never done it before. You've got a lot of moving pieces, a lot of different elements that we had to worry about. But in the end, it turned out incredible. So it was definitely well worth it. Totally agree. And my high is that I am finally leaning into the slow and intentional design of our home. I have learned that it is not a race to the finish line and the process is to be enjoyed along the way. And we're taking full advantage of doing every room slow because we have limited time to work on our house. It gives us the time to really take in the whole project each step of the way and be very intentional about our decisions. And I know Cam is extremely happy to hear that. So with that, Cam, what is your low? Unpopular opinion, maybe, but I'd have to say the bay window. 
just the amount of pieces and cuts that we had to do, I think it was like 60 to 100 pieces and cuts combined, something like that. Um, it does look great, it's worth it, but a little bit more than I had <laughs> expected going into it. But if I had to pick something, I would say that. How about you? My low would definitely be the fireplace, which is star contract to cams high. The fireplace was very stressful trying to research how we were going to build the stud wall, keep it safe because it is a wood burning fireplace, tried to make sure everything was up to code. And it just caused me a lot of stress to where I couldn't necessarily enjoy the fireplace while it was happening. All of the projects since then have been very enjoyable and less stressful, even though I am so happy with how the fireplace turned out in the end. So now let's move on to our favorite piece of the room. Cam, what is your favorite piece in the room? In addition to the fireplace, I'd have to say the box trim wall, the big one and the mirrors. Something about the simplicity and the elegance of the box trim just adds like another level to the space without having to go overly crazy with anything. So I'd have to say that. I agree. It made a huge impact once we installed it. And my favorite piece is the walnut cabinets. I feel like once the walnut cabinets went in on the fireplace wall, they really completed it and they added such a nice warmth. I love that we can also look at the walnut cabinets every single day and have pride that we built them from scratch, never having built furniture before. And I don't think they look like a DIY. So that's a nice reminder of everything we've learned throughout the process. And with that, we're gonna wrap up the video here. We hope you enjoyed our family room reveal. It was a labor of love across a couple months and we hope we can inspire you to take on more projects in your home and personalize it yourself. We are not exactly sure what our next project is gonna be. We have a couple in mind, the dining room, uh, our future library, also working on the exterior of our house in our backyard. So if you have any projects you would love to see us showcase first, leave a comment below. But as always, if you like this video, please thumbs up the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Go, go ahead. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> that the box trim gives to it is just really nice. And I don't know what else I'm going to say. <laughs> now we're going to have bloopers. This is why Cam doesn't talk very often. Now what? You already did an outro. All right, let me get a second take. That's even up. worse. No, it's supposed <laughs> to be better. No. All right, Cam, so let's start. Wait, with... I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> this is a waste of two mics. And my high is that we're... Uh, Okay, that was better. Good job.